Charlotte Cleo here, welcome to another reading vlog. So it is the second week of July, I am back full time at work. Uh, I actually have a lot of training to do this week as well, so it's going to be quite a busy week for me. Uh, and I'm starting a new reading vlog. Uh, my first week of the month didn't necessarily go great, but it's also fine because I got quite a lot of filming done. I got a plan set out for when I want to post my videos. So I'm kind of trying to go for three videos a week schedule where I, where I post on Wednesdays, uh, Fridays and Sundays. And you guys will know whether I was successful at this or not because yeah, by the time that this vlog is going off, it'll be like two weeks in the future already. Um, I have had a good time filming and editing and that was my main goal for like my three days off that I had there and so I'm not entirely blaming myself for not getting a lot of reading done and basically I did get quite a lot of reading done I just didn't get a lot of books finished so I finished one book uh, but I am close to finishing uh, another book which is Empire of Gold by uh, S.A. Chakraborty this is the third book in the uh, Devaba trilogy. I do not own a physical copy, but I will put a uh, picture up here. And uh, I absolutely fell in love with the first one. And then the second one let me down a little bit, just because I felt it to have quite a lot of middle book syndrome. I very much felt like we were going in a new direction for the third one, and we were very much setting that up in the second one. And that has been my problem with the third one, is actually that the new direction that we are getting is not a direction that I'm enjoying a lot. So it is Tuesday evening. And I have just finished The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. So uh, my feelings about this book haven't necessarily changed, so I wasn't really all that committed anymore because of certain change, certain choices that were made in the book. I feel like a lot of the choices the author made in this one were kind of things that I don't like to see. And this continued throughout. There was like one choice that I could very much get behind, but then the majority of the choices were just like things that I felt were more or less, like they've been done so many times, you know? I felt like they, they these choices were like the predictable way to go. I didn't necessarily enjoy that all that much. I definitely still enjoy the trilogy a lot. Uh, I very much loved this world, I very much loved these characters, and actually I grew to love Nari a lot more in the last book than uh, I did in the begin in the first one, maybe. However, um, as I said, there were certain choices, and then there was like, I just felt like it rounded off to perfectly as well. I just don't like my stories to be that well rounded. I definitely don't like epilogues, which I also got. So yeah, I, it wasn't. it's a mixed experience for me, this trilogy, but I definitely love the beginning. So if you have any recommendations that are like City of Brass, definitely let me know and I will definitely be very eager to look into them. So it is already Thursday at this point and as I said, the week has been super busy at work, so in the evenings I haven't had too much mental energy neither. Uh, so I did pick up a new book, but I didn't read a lot in it yesterday, but I have read a little bit today and hoping to read a little bit more, and that is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison. So this is the sequel to the fifth season. This is the second book uh, in uh, the Broken Earth trilogy, and all books in that trilogy have won the Hugo Award. But so the Broken Earth trilogy is a tr fantasy trilogy that's set on, would you believe it, a broken earth. So uh, earth is being like tormented by um, the natural elements mainly. There are a lot of like um, volcanic energy happening, uh, volcanic and se seismic, seismic, how do you say that in English? Uh, energy happening beneath the surface and so there are these people who are called origins and they have the power to kind of control this power however they are very much looked down upon and so we are following mainly three perspectives at in the first book of this and these are uh, origins of different like parts of their training to become an origin different parts of their life now um i very much love this one it has a very interesting structure in the first book we are also uh, experimenting a lot with different types of narrative techniques so there is definitely um like the tendency to have perspectives take place in different uh structures so I don't re really remember but i definitely know that there 
there's a second person narrator in the first one um, and it just delves into so many interesting pers uh, interesting topics. The first book also has polyamory rap and so I'm very eager to dive into the second one and um, we've had some other perspectives here introduced as well and I'm interested to see what we will be doing with those. sound in the background but the uh, construction crew next door is working and um, yeah it's been like that since 7 o'clock this morning so I'm pretty damn sure that it's not going to change but it's Saturday that means that Becca's Bukakulaton has started more about that in a second so first of all I finished a book yesterday so uh, I finished three books in the first third of the month so still fine uh, but none of them were on my pile of possibilities and I kind of need to get used to the pile of possibilities again because I had whole, the whole of last month in the TBR setup and so I'm kind of like oh no I'm failing my TBR and then I need to realize like it's fine I have a pile of possibilities I'm allowed to digress from it. But so I finished Trick Mirror. Um, I want to go into it too much but so as I have been saying I really enjoyed it because I found out that I actually really enjoyed the uh, essay format so I do want to read more essays. Um, there were some in here that I really enjoyed so um, yeah very much enjoyed diving into essays for once and so uh, we'll be getting more to more of that in the future. Hey everyone, Cleo here rounding off the vlog on Monday. So. I got quite a lot done this week in terms of finishing books. So I finished Empire of Gold, um, I finished Trick Mirror by Gia Tolentino, I finished um, The Man Who Saw Everything by Deborah Levy, I finished the... I finished Night Boat to Tangier by Kevin Barry and then I got like two thirds of the way let's say into exciting times by Nija Dolan or however I have to pronounce that. Uh, and then I also read a little bit in the Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison this week and that will be my focus of next week's vlog which I'm starting now. See you guys for the next one.